Hey, it's Doug. I want to give you a quick update on work around the front-end development done by Outlandish that you might be interested in terms of the development of MoodleNet. So here we are. The front-end and the back-end are not hooked up together. So when you do something on the front-end, it doesn't necessarily do anything. It's kind of a, a placeholder. So here we are. This might look familiar. We've kind of modeled it on Moodle.org. Um, and you enter your username and password here. And if you enter the right one, which I'm not going to share with you, um, here we are in MoodleNet. Now, the default is going to be featured communities. This is just dummy text um, and dummy groups, etc. But you can see that you've got featured communities and your community. So these are ones that you've joined. Also, you've got collections. So you've got featured collections. The work on this hasn't been done yet. Um, collections that you're following, which is different to communities, and collections which are yours. You can follow collections, but you can't follow communities. You're either a member of them or you're not. So there we are. If you go into a community, you can see that they've been curating collections. Again, dummy placeholder stuff. If you go into that collection, you can see that the resources are part of that collection. And you go into there and use, there's always a breadcrumb trail to get you back, back to the collection or back to the community as well. At the community level, there's going to be discussions. They're not implemented yet. Um, but there's also going to be comments at the collection level. So you can go into discussions there too. Another things to show you are um, if you go to the top right, you can go to your profile and edit that. I'm going to show you a bit more about that in the moment in terms of sign up. You can change your settings. This is stuff which hasn't been implemented yet. You can also go to notifications. There'll be at least three different types of notifications. There'll be one to do with Moodle Boss. That's things which Moodle uh, Net is suggesting to you. Collections, um, things that you're following, um, collections that you're adding to, but also communities. So there'll be lots of updates and notifications around things which are going on in your community, things that you're adding to, things that people are commenting on, etc. Then finally, there's the ability to search. Um, I can't do that at the moment because it's not hooked up to the back end. And these are just dummy tags, but you'll be able to see tags which are popular and also things which people are searching on. So that's where we are at the moment. I think it's looking really nice. It's working a lot better on desktop than it is on mobile at the moment. That, that will change. We're going to be doing some work with Outlandish in Barcelona the week beginning the 19th of November. So at the end of November, this will look a lot better in, um, in terms of having content and being hooked up to the back end. Just to quickly show you in terms of creating an account, I'm particularly fond of this. I think that Outlandish have done a great job. If you create an account, um, this doesn't actually create your account on MoodleNet, so, so don't go trying to think that this is going to do anything. But if you type in your username, it starts filling it in in terms of what it will look like um, on the back end. So if I go to my search for a header image, I don't know, this one maybe, and I choose a profile picture, here we are. Um, then here I am, and I can fill in my location. I'm in Morpeth in the UK. My role is Moodle, net lead. There we go. And you might be wondering, well, what is this thing here? What is this emoji ID? Well, the idea is that you can change your, on a decentralized system or any system, you can change your image and you can change your username at any time. Uh, on a decentralized system, you might not know who this person is that you're talking to, but you might recognize their emoji ID. So the idea, which is not finalized yet, is that when you chose, choose your emoji ID at sign up, that's not something that you can change afterwards. So it kind of represents you. Um, we haven't decided definitely to do this, but I quite like it as an idea and I've written about it on my blog. So once you've done that and you've filled in all the details that you, you need, um, then you can hit continue and it's going to ask you about your interests. Like what, um, these are just dummy tags, but what are you interested in? What languages do you speak? Uh, what are you teaching at the moment? You can fill in all those um, and then you can hit continue and it'll take you into MoodleNet. When you hit continue now, because it's not putting any data into the system, it takes you back to the home screen. We're going to test this. We're going to test the create account functionality to see what people want. Do we want to do minimal uh, data gathering at the start and then encourage them to add more data um, and fill out their profile afterwards? Or do we want to gather lots of that information to start with so they can discover things that they're interested in? We're going to do some user testing on that in November. So there we are so far. I'd be really interested in your feedback. What do you think of this? Is this worthwhile? What are you excited? Have you got anything to point out? Do let us know.